Hello and welcome, fellow undead. How's everyone doing? As usual, I hope you're having a great day and you have, I hope you are relaxed and ready to embark on my uh, 30 minute ish journey into the crucifixion woods and all the way to the crystal sage. Just like I mentioned in the last episode, this time uh, I'm going to go to the sage. And oh, as Mr. Dogo appears out of thin air, which is weird, um, yeah, like I said, my way is going to be the crystal sage slash the beacons or the deacons of the deep in order to work correctly the uh, quests for my NPCs as I drive my sword through that fella. Oh, this guy is bad news. That guy is bad news. He's gonna aggro the entire, entire posse of... <laughs> Oh, there you have it. Cleave attacks for the win. This is why straight swords are OP in Dark Souls 3. You can do stuff like that. A firebomb, cool. Long sword, speaking of long swords. So yeah, you do that my friend and I just backstab you. Okay, you seem to be out of your brain. I really love Big Hat Logan. Z hat. <laughs> Big Hat Logan's hat. That's a uh, wordplay there. Really great. Uh, it works phenomenally with many armor sets in Dark Souls. Uh, of course, it's a more of a cosmetic thing than the real deal because defense wise it's not that interesting it brings or it gives us a bit of magic resist but that's just about it so there are multiple ways to enter this place that one being one of those and i can go from the normal way which is like the straightforward way and so on and so forth it's Dark Souls after all, and they always have multiple access to things. As usual, be careful, there's always an ambush line somewhere. And I shall deal with it swiftly. This is where we were last episode. We got rid of the two thingies that they are now back spawned. They are not unique enemies or anything, it's just like they come back. The biggest reason I came here is because, funny, when you go to this hall right here, you notice that there is something up above us. You'll even see stairs to the right, broken stairs, and you'll ask yourself, what? Well, how can I access up there? And my first time, I spent so much time here trying to understand where is the way and that's the uh, trap which I honestly do not care about because I wanted to get that lizard before it disappears this is the other normal way of getting to this place notice that there's gonna be a sorcerer up there if I can oh yes he is now this shield is good against physical attacks but abysmal against magic attacks as that guy clips through the wall ow dude relax goodbye now this is a a tough tough place but yeah i got the drop Speaking of drop, I'll drop there. I just want to need to check things. Okay, so just drop. There's going to be an item here. Oh yes, there's going to be this item here. 
which is the Ring of Sacrifice, which I don't really use that much uh, in Dark Souls 3, but I used quite a lot in Dark Souls 1. Whenever I'm in a hmm? warrior's slumber head, oh yes, yeah, speaking of the Farron's Keep, the place that we will go shortly after we finish this area. I leave it completely for the next time we're there. And we will be stronger when we go there. How much souls do I have? Hmm. Oh, that's a lot of souls. I probably should be wary and not go fight the sage before spending my souls and leveling up. Now, it's a double-edged sword. You can go and fight and actually enemies and the boss are going to be weaker because they evolve as you evolve your level. So, as much as you are weak now, don't have much stamina and everything, it's not that bad of an idea to proceed through the game with your current level. You can dispose of enemies greatly and easily. All you need to do is level up your weapons and you'd see some amazing stuff. Now the reason we came here is because of this guy. Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. Yeah, Happy well, visiting. I am a visitor. How intriguing. Very well. Indeed. How much is that in the way? Yes, yes, yes. I make Very a promise, well, whatever. The promise is to bring him any type of new sorceries, scrolls, anything. That's what he wants us to do in exchange of teaching us sorceries. Well, he's a vendor type NPC, something that we will need should we go into the sorcery path, which we are not going to go to the sorcery path. But, nevertheless, I need to do this correctly. Now, this is of a trap room kinda some sort of a trap room so I must be careful and the grayish environment and these logs kinda blends stuff like that big gaping hole over there so if you're not careful that will happen to you. Ah, man. I was slower than he is. Uh, as I sneeze. Sorry about that. Uh, don't worry, to be honest. I'll be muting those things. Ah, that's what I was referring to. As I dispose of this fella here, Ooh, two sorcerers, I forgot. And a guy. This is the trap section that I'm talking about. Ow! I forgot that that thing homes a bit. It kind of curves. Now I need to take care of this fella first. And then, while I use the pillars as a cover, Being careless results in a swift death, death in Dark Souls. And I was careless. Anyway. Now you guys. Take it easy. And trust the proc of the Irithyll sword to take a great portion of these guys. I think it only takes three shots. One, two, and three. Yes. In order for the Frostbite to proc in and deals a massive blow to the enemy. This is a window to kind of remind you that there is this area that you might or have probably forgotten if you came through the other way. So, you should probably make haste and go explore it. And by exploring it, you will find the Ring of Sacrifice. Which, you know what? Instead of uh, stalling and 
you know, going back to the fire link and leveling up and all those lovely things. You know what I'm going to do? Since I don't use the Ring of Sacrifice that much, I am going to use it now. I'm going to fight the Sage. Should I perish? Well, basically nothing is going to happen. I'll keep my souls, everything is going to be fine. And should I kill the Sorcerer? Which I am not confident I will do. I've forgotten how to deal with him. Uh, well, we wouldn't be losing any type of progress whatsoever. Now, there is a summon here. And it's this fella. Would you like to summon Egon of Kareem? Now, if you guys remember, we first meet Egon guarding the priestess. The blind priestess who failed to become... Or the blind cleric, to be more precise. Who failed to become a fire keeper. And we rescue her from that dungeon, or that cell, and she vows to be part of our great, great misfits back at the Firelink Shrine. She's basically the Miracles vendor, and uh, you will buy stuff from her. And this guy guards her. And since we free her, it's like, okay, so you and I are going to be cooperating now because we have common interests, but do not think that I like you or anything. Well, I think this should advance his quest. I did not look into his quest truly. Uh, I did because... Oh yes, I do remember that I can or I will fight him at a certain point, but I do not know how. So you know what? Since we find his summon, and summoning is one of the ways of advancing NPC quests, well, he is summoned. Now, before we go further, was my ring of sacrifice and here we go Ooh, we got two of them lose nothing upon death but ring breaks of course it does now the sage isn't that hard it's uh it's a normal fight you know but sometimes you can get unlucky and but it hit by one of these things or be slashed by his sword or whatever. But you know what? I'll be silent now. Uh, it's my policy when I find bosses, I will not talk. So see you when I see you. <laughs> Told you I'm gonna die. I knew it. I, I knew it in my heart that I am sloppy and rusty enough to be destroyed by one of the sages. Through sacrifice, no souls were lost. Ring of sacrifice shattered. Which bring us to this bonfire. Which bring us to... Oh, do I lose my... I think I do lose my kin. Oh, I probably need the other ring, the more advanced ring of sacrifice, in order to not lose my kindling. Nevertheless, travel to the fire link. Let us level up a bit, and then we'll be back, and we'll have us some fun with the sages. Now immediately 
immediately. Oh, we got an NPC. Well, good I came here. I guess I need to advance her story anyway. And yeah. Welcome home, Ashen One. Thank you. Give Fire Keep a soul. Yes. Ashen One, not Denji. Yes, I know what it is. Level up. So, the one start, like I talked about this earlier, that I need to focus on is endurance. I leveled up a bit of dexterity. Uh, later, should I need to, I'll level up a bit of strength. But right now, we need as much endurance as we can. And there we have it. We still have some souls left. In order that, if we need to buy something. Uh, let's start this uh, young lady and beautiful lovely lady's quest. Uh, yes, yes, yes. She's not going to talk too much. Uh, it's just like, she's here, she's resting and... Uh, well, we meet her and everything. Give Umbral Ash. There you go. Purchase item. What do you have for me right now? Any type of curved sword? No, not really. Yeah, we've got the leather shield, which is a good shield for parrying. we got the embers. Again, for the strength of the flame. And some stuff. Oh, the grave key. It's, um... It's... Where we find... Um, where we find the uh, dungeon of the lady that was entrapped that I talked about earlier. Um, I went in the other way, which is basically jumping. This one I've already gotten, as you can see. That's why I had the uh, Soul Keeper, Soul. Don't remember when did I get this. I probably farmed for it. But yeah, it was when I was playing... Uh, Back. Ashen, there you go. One. Grey Rat isn't here. Well, this is interesting. Are you telling me that I did not free Grey Rat? Come on. You're serious. Let me just go to cheese something. His help. Yeah, he's up there. I'm certain I freed him. Oh, come on, I wouldn't forget something like that. Well, remember me? I slipped you your mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, there I we go. Perfect. Perfect. This will give me purpose why to go back to Lothric. First, I can go fight the uh, Wraith. And second, I will go and make certain I freed Grey Rat. Uh, let me see the time. Uh, it's, we don't have time for this one. So let's suggest go deal with the uh, Crystal Sage first, kill it, then go back here and finish the episode. And next episode, I'll be dealing with those matters. Anyway, where's the way? Where's the fastest way? Is it this one? No, not really. Oh yes, I probably should go uh, on the water. There's a sorcerer set here. And one of the enemies. This is a kind of a trap that if you... Ow. Oh, yeah. My bad. There you go. Wait for my stamina to go back. And that's the grab attack. It's a nasty one, as you can see. Now, if you are thinking of healing now because your HP is low, don't do that. First, kill it, and then do it in safety. So many times I, amongst others, died because of that. Has the sorcerer set? just want to make certain that there is no illusory wall there. And here's the sage ring. Speaking of sage. Something tells me that there used to be a hidden... Nah. 
No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm not delusional. I know there's no hidden door there. But yeah, we got the Sorcerer's Set and the Sage Ring, which I believe boosts sorceries. I'm not going to be dealing with these fellas right here, so just run past and be destroyed. Hmm. You know what? I changed my mind. Let me deal with you. It's actually confusing. There we have it. Go here. The problem is I do actually need to deal with this because I want to summon, as you can see, leveling up made it so I cannot one-shot through backstabbing. I cannot one-shot these guys. I know. Like I said, they do level up and gain strength and HP as I level up myself. So yeah, it's a double-edged sword, like I said. Goodbye anyway. This is the summoning sign. Once I kindle, once I become Cinder, Let's wait for Mr. Shield, Broken Shield here, to come my way first, and then we will uh, deal with the sorcerers. Come on, buddy. I know you're like undead and everything, and you do forget your name most often than not, but come on. Be smart enough to attack me. Not through the bloody pillar. It wasn't even him, it was someone else. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. It's the frustrating parts of Dark Souls, like you get attacked through pillars and stuff and you lose your composure and you die. And you know what? Let's just go through this. Here we go. You can summon the reinforcements, it matters not. I don't think they will be following me that oh yes they do oh yes they do what you want to die no problem i'll kill you it's funny you look at this and it's a clear clear way it's like there's no enemy but as you noticed there's a ton of enemies actually here He do that. Let me, let me get back my souls. <laughs> I almost fell down. Deal with you first. And then deal with you first. There we have it. And now the sages. Four attacks. Good. Heal. Come to me. Alright. And now... I can use one of these. Ooh, I've got the Estus. I should have probably... Probably used it. But it's alright. It's alright. I do not rely on healing that much. For now. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot that I had that set. So let me see which one has more magic resist. This or this? Fire, lightning. No, no, no. This has more magic. Kinda. Kinda. More than armor. Fire, magic, magic, magic. Yeah. Although the cleric has a ton of, or a bit more magic resists. Same as the sorcerer. So you know what? Let's go with the sorcerer. There you go. 
sorcerer and yeah not a big fan of uh, <clears throat> the thief this purely is for cosmetics by the way that's why I get it cleric and sorcerer there we go now we are a full sorcerer look at this <laughs> it's good one of those days I'll uh, I become a sorcerer I'll be, I'll be going full sorcery build. Of course the fight is going to be much easier without Egon on your side because the boss is going to have less health but I'm afraid I cannot advance his questline if I don't do this. So yeah, it's time to wear the fallen armor. Legs, cleric, firekeeper, let's go. And all right, can we? Yes, I can. All right, you know what? I can do this. Probably can do this, but let's see. Still can tumble. Oh yes, great. Now this is the armor I talked about. Looks great. Kind of looks like Kylo Ren. Uh, aesthetically, it's amazing. It's like an armor, a knight armor with these. Cloth, cloth uh, wrapped around it and everything. So yeah, the fight isn't that hard. You just have a bunch of mimic clone sages that use blue magic, uh, missiles and everything, and you got the real deal, which has purple attacks and that unique uh, laser attack. So you locate him, go and attack him, and that's how he dies. Not that big of a problem. Anyway, that was the Sage boss fight. So this is going to be, or well, this is going to mark the end of this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. And I will see you tomorrow for the next episode, where we go and make certain that Grey Riot have been rescued and will be fighting a Wraith. 
So until then, you guys have a great day, and see you when I see you.